guys and welcome back to vlogs with Monique if you're new here welcome if you're returning welcome back so you guys today I am going to continue with just getting into the Christmas spirit and having a great December I'm currently at Target and I'm just gonna be going in to go buy a few things um, I really have been just enjoying watching Christmas movies and stuff so I want to get some hot cocoa and get some marshmallows um, it's kind of crazy that it's literally the mid-December and I haven't bought that yet so yeah I want to go get that and um, I also want to start maybe getting like a planner for um, 2024 I want to get a planner for 2024 because you know I just want to be on you know it's the new year I know everyone has their goals for the new year and I definitely have mine so I just want to get a planner so I can kind of plan out things and be organized and start off the year the right way so come along as I go to Target Okay, you guys, so I got a few things out of Target, just pretty much the hot cocoa and everything that I wanted for that and, um, you know, a few essentials for the house. I need some tissues because I have literally been sneezing all day. Um, but yeah, I'm about to head back home and I'll check in with you guys when I get home. Hey, you guys, so I am home. I am literally so sick right now. I literally am just like, have so much congestion and just dealing with like, you know, just you know, just a cold. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna change my clothes, get a little comfy, and probably pop on a Christmas movie and have some hot cocoa and figure out what we're eating tonight. I literally am just not in the mood to cook, so gonna probably just order something. But yeah, this is gonna be, you know, a very festive and just sick day in the house, well, sick night in the house. This is literally one of the first colds I've had in like this entire year, it feels like. I am just not adjusting to it well. I mean, I'm sure, you know, I think right now there's a lot of things going on, uh, you know, on where people are getting sick, but oh my gosh, you guys, oh, I'm just over it. I, I hate, I hate being sick. guys so I just want to check back in with the vlog it is currently Sunday so last when I was talking with you guys it was Friday and we were watching Christmas movies that was cute and you know we had our hot cocoa and stuff but Saturday as I told you guys I am sick so I literally pretty much was just in bed and just dealing with congestion and just struggling to sleep just a bunch of different things so yeah Daniel's inside right now picking up our food and we're gonna go back home, enjoy that. We just got our envelopes for our um, Christmas cards. I'm gonna show you guys those later. Ooh, I'm gonna show you guys that later. I literally wanna get those written out today and then mail them out tomorrow, which is Monday. It's a perfect timing because then you know everyone will get it right before Christmas. They're so cute, they match the theme of our Christmas pictures, so I'm like really excited guys so we ate our food and we just were watching um the show called after party that's on apple tv so i'm gonna start doing our christmas cards and i want to show you guys because they are really cute and i'm so excited to send these out to our family and friends do not mind my puzzle um this is a 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle that i'm working on it's a cinderella but look how cute but i have a lot to still work on but yeah, so you guys, these are our invitations. I showed you guys in a previous video. Not invitations, what am I saying? Oh my God, you guys, please, please bear with me, I'm sick. Um, these are Christmas cards, so cute, our cute pictures. I love them, I love how they came out. And then these are our envelopes that just came in today. 
So I'm gonna, you know, fill out all this info. Also, I have to show you guys. This is the inside of the card. Look how cute. It has like the candy cane pattern inside. I really just want when, when our family and friends get this in the mail that they're like, you know, it just like, it's, it's green, it's very Christmassy. I just want Christmas to explode over them. Um, and I just, you know, I want something really cute that, you know, when they get it, they're like, oh, what's this, you know? So yeah. I'm going to fill that out and put everyone's, you know, information and stuff and probably going to mail those out tomorrow. Also, hopefully I can, when I go to the post office, I'm going to ask them like what stamps they have. Hopefully I can get something that's Christmassy. guys so I finished up with the Christmas cards they look so cute I cannot wait to mail those out to tomorrow tomorrow but what I'm about to do now is I want to wrap up what gifts that I do have so I want to show you guys my gift wrap that I got from five below it is this Grinch if you guys can see I want it to match, you know, kind of what our pajamas are and just kind of like what our Christmas cards are, you know, just match the theme of this year. Um, I can't show you guys what I got because they didn't watch these videos, but I'm just gonna wrap up some of my gifts. I went to Walmart and got these boxes um, because I wanna be able to put everything in a box. I'm a person that prefers all gifts to be in a box um, and wrapped. I really don't like when things are in a bag. Um, you know, cause it's just, it's very easy to open. I think the fun of Christmas is unwrapping, you know, the gift wrap. So, so yeah, I make sure I put everything in a box. This comes with a few boxes, which is good. Um, So I have a gift right here and I'm just wrapping it. I don't know if you guys know, I'm a professional rapper. I'm joking, but I'm, I do think I'm really good at wrapping gifts. I don't always do it perfect, but I think I've been doing this for a while. I always love giving gifts, you know, practice. Like y'all. Look how perfect, yay. I have to kind of cut off some of the top because it's a little too long. Okay, you guys, so I have the gifts that I just wrapped. I'm gonna put them under the tree. Daniel's actually wrapping some of his gifts. So we're gonna have a full tree after this. I'm so excited. Put that there. Okay, you guys, so we have a few gifts under the tree. I said Daniel's doing his, and then we're gonna have a few under here. So excited. I'm still waiting for a little bit of stuff to come, you know, be delivered, but for now, this is what I have. So I'm about to just, what, Daniel clean the kitchen, and I'm about to just make some chicken cutlets, just something little and quick. I'm literally just gonna throw it in the oven. Check it out. 
to you guys. So I prepared my salad for tonight. And then this one is for my lunch tomorrow. So yeah, gonna wait for the chicken to finish up. I'm watching Aaliyah J actually right now. So I want to, we have a little bit of grapes left, so I just wanna put that in a Tupperware for tomorrow. So I can have a little snack probably um, after lunch. Don't mind my crazy hair today. I'm gonna keep saying it because I am sick, so <laughs> my hair though. But um, it's fine. As the chicken is cooking, I'm just gonna be watching Married at First Sight. I just got into watching literally episode one on season 13. I literally love the show and I love watching it and then you know finding out what couples actually make it at the end. So yeah, starting season 13. So if you guys have watched Married at First Sight or specifically this season. Um, you know, well, not, don't tell me about, don't spoil the season for me, but like, um, you know, if you like the show, let me know. <laughs> starting to feel a little bit better and I really feel like this cold has taught me that I need to take care of my health so I am having some oatmeal I'm gonna work out a little later um, I am working from home so I need to focus on some work that I have to do but I just want to take care of myself as I start to feel better so this is my breakfast. I know I put probably way too many fruits, but it's how I like it. My oatmeal. My I have my laptop here and I have a few things in the house that I need to get done today. I got more packages for Christmas that came, so I need to wrap those gifts. Christmas is next week, so we have a lot of stuff to do. We still have to figure out what we're eating for a Christmas dinner. We have to go get treats and things like that. We always get the popcorn tins. I might put a picture here. Um, these Christmas popcorn tins. I, my mom always brought them when I was younger for me and my siblings, and I have now, that's something that I buy in the house and Daniel loves them. It's really become a tradition for us to always buy these tins. It's something that we snack on on Christmas day and the day after Christmas. And you know, it's just, you know, one of those treats. So yeah, we have a bunch of stuff that we have to buy. I think for Christmas dinner, we're gonna be making baked macaroni and cheese. We're gonna make a ham and we're gonna make collard greens. Um, only three things, we're just gonna keep it really simple. We're not gonna make anything too crazy, but I'm really excited for this Christmas. Uh, I just, I'm just so excited for this Christmas. I also wanna just get in the Christmas mood. I feel like, you know, the days leading up to Christmas, all I wanna do is watch Christmas movies, have hot cocoa. So I definitely will be doing that, snuggle, snuggling up on the couch today. And I'm really excited about that. My job has been really busy recently. I have so much to do. I feel like every job is like that right now. Like literally like you're just like, you're trying to run after the clock of getting things done before the new year. So, but I mean, for the most part, it's been fine. Um, I'm really happy that I'm gonna be working from home for majority of this time until the new year. So, so yeah, I mean, I'm in my element when I'm home. I feel like the pandemic really just, I didn't even know that it was, I mean, I, I knew it was possible to work from home, but I just never th thought that that was a option for me, you know? And so it's amazing to be able to work from home and it really is just like kind of what I aim for. Yeah, I'm just really happy and blessed. And I really, just speaking of being blessed, I really have been trying to get back into, not that I've ever fallen out of it. I, you know, I'm a Christian, if you guys don't know. And I really do just want to, one of, one of the things I had on my vision board, I'll insert a clip of my vision board. Um, one of the things that I had on my vision board for 2023 was to get closer to God. And I feel like I have, I really do feel like I have. I pray to God so much more than I used to. And, you know, intentionally, like, you know, not just, you know, not just saying anything, but really, um, you know, praying to God, thanking God, praising God. That's just really important to me. I don't know if you guys are Christians or not. 
but if you are then you know I hope that you can relate to what I'm saying so I'm really I'm really happy about that and I just want to continue in 2024 getting closer to God reading my Bible more me and Daniel I kind of said this in um the last vlog um at the end you know, me and Daniel started to go to church and stuff and that's definitely something that you know is new for us as a couple and you know when I was when I was about 19 and 20, um, I used to go to church, um, you know, back in New York um, at my local church by myself. I, I didn't have any family go with me or anything like that. It was just me. It really is a time in my life that I look back and I'm just so, I feel so, so blessed to have, have experienced that. Um, you know, it was, I, I gained, I gained lifelong family. I feel like, you know, not, not just friends, I family and people who, you know, have, I feel like helped me, helped me become the woman that I am. And I was, I, as I said, I was, you know, I was young, I was 19 and 20. And I ended up falling out to church, you know, just because of life, because of, you know, just, you know, if, if any, you know, if you're in your 20s, then you know, um, <laughs> but like, I mean, I'm 30 now, but, um, you know, my early 20s, every, I'm feeling most people's early 20s are very much, you know, it's chaotic you know you're learning you're learning life you're learning adulthood and i feel like i made a bad decision um and it is what it is you know it's fine um i've never lost faith in god and i've always kept god close to me but i wasn't you know participating in church yeah i'm just i'm really excited to be back in church and i'm really excited to be back in church specifically with my husband this is a different thing for me i just feel so blessed and i just continue to just want to thank god for everything and i hope and i pray that god you know changes my mindset i want to show you guys in general what was on my vision board for this year um reflecting on it a lot of things did happen so i'm very happy but there are still a few things that i need to work on um, one of the biggest things this year is I wanted to focus on my fitness. I have made little changes, but I really haven't made the changes that I want to and, you know, drastic change. These are actually old pictures of me, you guys, um, back when I was about 23 years old um, and I had lost a bunch of weight. This is a picture too. Um, and I really want to get back to that girl. I really, you know, something similar and more healthier. Um, so that's definitely something that is going to carry over to 2024 for me. Also, I turned 30 this year. That was on here. At the beginning of the year, I didn't have a job, actually, you guys. Um, one of my dreams was to work from home, and here I am working from home. I just feel so blessed that that one really came to fruition because that was something I really, I really prayed about. Up here, you have the Disney cruise. We did go on a Disney cruise back in April. That was amazing. It was our first, our very first cruise and you know just just life changing i love cruises now and i can't wait till we book another one you know just other ones are saying you know be happy do more of what makes you happy just trying to be positive not quitting things like that you are stronger than your excuses that's one of my favorite quotes so yeah this is my vision board for 2023 i do think i'm gonna i'm gonna make one for 2020 for, um, for 2024 and I'll show you guys that process. But we'll probably do that in the new year. As I'm working, I'm listening to a sermon by um, the Life Church. It's called Winning the War in Your Mind, which I feel like, I don't know if this is gonna, it's not gonna show. Okay, but regardless, um, I'm listening to a sermon. Listening to that, um, I've been really big on listening to sermons about, you know, controlling your mind and not letting anxiety get to you. 2023 has really been a crazy year for me um, when it comes to anxiety. I never thought I had an anxiety or anything like that. But this year, unfortunately, um, I, I did have anxious moments. Um, and this is something that I'm definitely working on, you know, breathing breathing exercises, meditating, and then also, you know, praying. I feel like praying does a world of a difference for me. I'm sure if there's other people who have anxiety and, you know, if you have other ways that help you cope with it or whatever, um, that's awesome. But for me, praying, I don't know, guys. It just, it, it really, it really helps me. Um, okay, you guys, I'm in the office right now. I have two packages here that, um, well, not packages, but gifts that I need to wrap. So um, watch me as I wrap these presents and put them under the tree.
I had lunch. I had some lentil soup that I got from the supermarket. Um, I did not make it. That was really good. I have my Grinch gift wrap, as you guys saw before. After this, I think I'm done with gifts, so that's exciting. So, this is the package. I pretty much just write to Dan from Mo. I'm very simple. Pull a heart. <laughs> hey guys, I got my presents and I'm about to put them under the tree. Hey you guys, more gifts are under the tree. I'm so excited. I just cannot wait for Christmas. So pretty much all these over here are mine for Daniel. And then over here, and he says he has more in his car. Um, he's gonna bring them in today. But um, these are all for me. Um, so yeah, really excited. So I just want to show you the end result of Daniel finishing up wrapping his gifts. We have these three big ones. Guys, I have no idea what they're going to be. I'm so excited for Christmas. We have Charlie Brown on the TV right now. I'm going to close out the vlog here, you guys. But I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I might have a vlog coming soon on Christmas Day. But love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one.